this is an enormous triumph for him, don't you? I think it was, I mean, you'll write your own review. <gasps> Mark Jacobs, I've loved this work forever. He's like watching Scorsese or Spielberg. I'm sitting on the Louis Vuitton Express and I'm a little bit dazed because I feel like Mark Jacobs just took us on the fashion trip of a lifetime. <laughs> I don't know where the idea came from. We was just like, let's do a train, and I wanted to actually go through the loop, but anyway. And then we were like, what kind of bags? We're like suitcases and things that you travel with, and maybe things you wouldn't travel with anymore, but like that always look good coming off a plane and out of a train. And then things we looked at over the months, we're like Peter Schlesinger's book, A Checkered Past, the idea of the city mouse and the country mouse, and how there's this kind of dowdy ugliness in a way, which we thought was such a nice foil to prettiness. Some of the color combinations and the bold patterns and the like so over the top ornate textures, we kind of intended them to be much more offensive. The way that the women were dressed and conducted themselves felt like it came from a different era. A little bit Anna Karenina, it had that a certain romanticism to it, to in a slight edge of melancholy. It's a wistful sort of longing for what many consider a better, more civilized time. That kind of nostalgia is always laced with melancholy. It made you miss that moment where you know you could take a beautiful train and have a porter carry your luggage. He was nostalgic. He made me dream. I want to travel like that. I just thought this season was, you either have to have like a really crazy colored wig or a really crazy hat because somehow hair feels just too conservative. That was the other thing, this idea of feeling incognito but wanting attention. The girls with the big glasses and this whole sort of covered up thing, but so like show offy in, in a way. That's what it's all about is taking pride in dressing up and, and the classic lines and the hats, the coats, putting it all on. Every bead was engraved, every tweed was handmade. Some of those fabrics are a thousand euros a meter. And we were kicking them around the studio for two weeks and then you'd sort of go, oh, whoops, I shouldn't do that, that's very expensive. Those layers, the heavy decoration, the luxury of it all, the over-the-top gorgeous excess, it was fantastic. It felt like having been to the cinema or having just read a beautiful book. And I was sitting next to Catherine Deneuve who was magnifique, magnifique. And you know if that's being said by a true Parisian in that voice, by that person, in that brain, in that particular point of view, that it was a great success.